Whoa, what are you ghouls up to? We're voting as many times as we can to try and get Casta and the Spells to play a concert at Monster High. Casta and the Spells? Oh, who's that? <gasps> Did he just say what I think he said? Whoa! Casta and the Spells are only the most voltageous witch band of all time. Mm, nope, nope, never heard probably of them. not my kind of music. Here, this Monsters of Music special can tell you all about them. Casta and the Spells. Magical, musical, their bewitching melodies are famous the world over. On tonight's Monsters of Music. Listen to the beat, don't fear the power, cause they're never staying out to the witch now. Magic moves and rhythm, it'll reach out and grab you, feel the magic like Epic Casta inherited everything from her mother, her looks, her talent for music. Magic and motion, you know we can live it. Your heart and devotion, I know you can rip it. And her ability to turn everyone around her into animals. No, I meant give it, not rip it. Casta's lyrics are extremely powerful. Even the smallest mistake can conjure up some very big consequences. Music has power, I'll show you how. In the witching hour, yeah, the time is now. Ultimately, Casta and the Spells agreed that the power of their lyrics were just too dangerous and decided to stop touring. But once a year, Casta and the Spells give one special performance on their favorite holiday, Halloween. All right, everybody, who's ready for a little trip or treat? Where will Casta perform this Halloween? Fans all across the globe are casting their votes right now, hoping to bring Casta and the Spells to their town. Will you be among the lucky few at the hottest concert of the year? Not if Monster High doesn't get enough votes. Hurry, just a few more seconds left. <laughs> That's all we can do. Hopefully we can get enough votes in time. Hey, guys and ghouls. Casta and the Spells coming to you live with a special announcement. You voted and the results are in. The location of this year's Casta and the Spells Halloween concert is going to be... Win, 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 win! <gasps> Monster High! Oh my god! Oh 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 yes! Thanks to all who voted. This was our closest contest yet, with Monster High winning by only four last-minute votes from... Gil, Manny, Deuce, and Invisibility. What? I love cast on the spells. Oh I my god, they totally so rock cool. my <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Monster High. We'll see you on Halloween. I've got chills. Assuming we can actually see her. Cast up! Cast up! What are those things anyway? Oh, you know how when Casta sings the wrong lyric, she turns the audience into animals? We want that to happen big time. Maybe she'll sing something spidery. It'd be cooler if she turned us into snakes. Oh, oh, what, you want to be what about teeny tiny love bugs wearing even teenier, tinier little top hats? Spiders! You're gonna be snakes! I'll be right there for you, ooh, ooh. I can't believe we won these VIP passes. This is the unlife. Fanging out backstage, singing Casta songs with Casta. Um, Casta, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just pre-show jitters. You get nervous before a show? Every single time. <laughs> but you're Casta. You didn't hear about my performance last Halloween. Ah, I was on stage getting ready to sing Witching Hour. The opening verse is so fast, it's very easy to make a mistake. Are you ready, Spells? We're ready, Casta. Are you ready, Spells? You're the Miracle Master. Hour, like a raging river, come feel its power. The moon is full blue in its glow, like a giant lizard, come feel its cold. I concentrated so hard on the words, but they just came out wrong. So I'm never gonna sing Witching Hour again. No. You have to sing Witching Hour. That is hilarious. You can't even sing your own song. You should just let me sing it for you. Not helpful, Torrelai. I'm serious. Just imagine. Are you ready, 
Is she okay? Yeah, this happens all the time. Casta, you said you concentrated really hard on the lyrics. Right! Maybe you were overthinking it. Casta, whatever happens tonight, you gotta sing Witching Hour. There's no way you'll be able to overthink it this time. So, what's this master plan that doesn't involve me singing with Casta? We need a distraction. One that will keep Casta from thinking too hard when it's time to sing the really fast part of the song. Now that could cause a major distraction. <laughs> yes! A big pyrotechnic explosion! All right, you ghouls. You're not supposed to be back here. Relax, Squid Boy. We have backstage passes. We had backstage passes? Ugh, Torrelai! <laughs> Um, where, where, where I come from, Squid Boy is, is a term of endearment. I, I mean, who doesn't love Squid? A am I right? This is bad. I am no longer a very important monster. Are you ready, Spells? We're ready, Casta. Are you Don't ready, worry, Casta. Torlai Strike, vocalist extraordinaire. Here to take care of this pesky song for you. The moon is high, it's the wishing hour. Like a raging river, come feel its power. The moon is full oh, no. of blue in its We're cloud. Too late. Looks like she's on her own. It's, it's the witching hour, a time for magic. Anything can happen if you try to imagine. Listen to the beat, you don't fear the power. Cause you have to stay now to the witching hour. Witching hour, I'm gonna imagine you careening off stage on a broom and I'll be able to get through it. Thank you. I can't turn down a request from my fans. Harmonus, more fanicus, and more insecticus. We're we're Teeny tiny love bugs wearing teenier tinier little top hats. Close Today is the final day to enroll in the Monster Exchange Program. To take advantage of this program and spend a scaremester abroad in a foreign country. Representatives from all over the globe are waiting to help you sign up. Look at all these places we get to choose from! Scaris, Transylvania, Dubai... Any idea where you might want to go, Draculaura? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> what if I pick the wrong one? <laughs> oh, this is too much pressure. I've got a solution that cannot be beat. You spend Scaremaster at Himalaya High. The Himalayas. Well, on the plus side, I do have a lot of cute winter clothes I never get to wear. But something tells me I might want to go somewhere that has more temperatures than just cold also cold. Maybe I need to pick a place that has a lot of art and culture. How 
about Madrid? A scare master in Spain! Oh, very artistic! Uh, excuse me, Senor Dragon, do you know what time it is? <laughs> I'll ask somebody else. I'm not sure that's right for me either. Well, it sounds close on to me. I'm signing up right now. Die a land? I don't know. Skagentina? Maybe? Dominican Republic? Uh -oh. How do I know when I pick a place that I'm not missing out on something else? Why not pick a country that has a little bit of everything? Shibuya, Japan! There's the fast-paced street life of our ultra-modern cities. But we also have the calming quiet of our countryside and zen gardens. And the fashion scene is unlike anything you've ever seen. Fantastic! It sounds like a dream! Also, it's the only monster exchange destination left. <laughs> you spent the whole day imagining yourself in different places and must have lost track of time. It's the end of the day, mate. Oh. Okay. Shibuya, Japan it is. Ladies and gentle monsters, welcome to Shibuya, Japan. Woo! Wow! Shibuya seems perfect in my imagination. But, um, now that I'm here, <laughs> uh, what if I don't really fit in? What if nobody likes me? What if I made the wrong choice? Konnichiwa! 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 Konnichiwa. Uh. I think I'm going to like it in Shibuya. Another scare master down, so you know what that means. New fair books. Leo, you look totally awesome in this picture. And I look absolutely amazing in this picture. Oh, you were talking about me. I have to put this online. Happy fair day. day. Huh? Who's that? That's a bunny good one. Ah, how'd you do that? Sorry about that. I just love a good photo bomb. The name's Lorna. Lorna McNessie. Oh, you're one of the new Monster Exchange students. You're from Lake Loch Ness in the Frightlands of Rotland. You might have heard of my dad, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Got us again, Miss McNessie. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone has to keep you two on your fins. <laughs> well, there's the sweetest, most loving, bestest father a girl could ever ask for. You're not going up to the surface, Lassie. You've been to the surface before. And a right lot of good that did me. Don't you remember how much trouble that wee picture caused? We had every normie from here to Glasgow invading our lake, trying to find our castle. Please, Dad, you know I'll be careful. Did I mention you're the bestest? Aye, <laughs> you did. One hour. Oh, Dad, thank you! But you're to stay away from the normies. <laughs> they did get me good side. I did it. But there was something about that camera that just compelled me. I just had to. I just had to photobomb that man's camera. Ah! It's the photo that's taken the world by storm. And everybody wants to know, who is the photobombing Loch Ness Monster? And um, did they get me good side? With the lake overrun with normies, my dad and I decided it would be best to get away for a while. We discovered the exchange program at Monster High. It was a chance for me to really explore the surface world beyond the lake. And so, it was photobombing that brought me here to Monster High. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Well, allow us to be the first to welcome you to Monster High and wish you good luck on your first day of school. Oh, today is not my first day. I've been here all scare master. I'm off. See all of you later. Uh, ghouls. Lorna wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Coming 
coming to you live from my beautiful village in Monster Pichu. I'm all about big hair, big shoes, and big attitude. Today is the day I hop on a train for my escape master at Monster High. I was accepted into their monster exchange program. Will I miss Monster Pichu? Claro! <laughs> of course! But as you know, this sassy Sasquatch is always up for a new adventure. My Yeti cousin is a student at Monster High. She's coming here to Monster Pichu to ride with me back to Monster High on the train. Hello, cousin? In here, Abby. It's my last day in Monster Pichu, and I was really looking forward to showing you around before we go. Perhaps we can dawdle for a little while. Have you ever seen a place more gorgeous than Monster Pichu? Yes, yes, very pretty. Lots of big feet. But now it's time to head to station. Okay, you're right. I'm ready for my Monster High adventure. <gasps> oh, but you have to surf down the Amazon Bay River first. <laughs> and that one's Gabby, and that one's Angelito. Wait, where's Piggy Pantalones? <laughs> yes, your guinea pigs, all very handsome and well named, but we should really be going. <laughs> what do you think of your Mari makeover? Actually, I love it, but now I must. See, ex see the train station, I know. But you can't leave Monster Beach without a singer. Fabulous jungle! But after that, no more monkey business. Running from spider monkeys is very much a monkey business. I told you we'd get to the train station. Eventually. But admit it. You had fun in Monster Pichu. You know something, cousin? I really did. Mari, those platforms are to die for. What can I say? I've got a lot to work with. <laughs> oh, hey, do you girls know what happened to Abby? I haven't seen her all week. Oh, I can answer to that. Buenos dias, chicos and chicas. It's your cool, Abby Abominable, coming to you live from Monster Pichu. She had such a great time, she decided to stay an extra week. For those who do not know me, I am all about big hair, somewhat average-sized shoes, and big attitude, thanks to my cousin, Mari. <laughs> I can't believe this is my last practice before I leave for Monster Exchange. You're gonna have the best time going to school in Madrid. But I'm going to miss you all so much. Especially Gil. That new ghoul Lorna has got some big flippers to fill while you're gone. Hey, Gil, wanna go shopping with me this afternoon? Gil, you promised you would help me with that um, thing. Right, uh, the, the thing. Is that okay? Uh, of course. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, Laguna. Wow, Gil and Lorna are fanging out together, and you're okay with that. Why wouldn't I be? I'd be jealous. Like, major jealous. Like, super major mega big time jealous. Like, I get it, Serena. Jealous. Of course I'm jealous. <laughs> Sorry. It's just Gil's parents would love it if he broke up with me and started dating a freshwater ghoul like Lorna. Why don't you ask him? Because that would show him that I don't trust him. But I do. Don't I? Oh, uh, we're gonna follow them, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Big time. <laughs> may get what they're saying. I don't care that we come from two different worlds. We belong together. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, uh, Laguna. Serena. Gil. Um, Serena. <laughs> what are you doing here? Laguna knows all about what's going on here. Laguna knows about Finn. That's right. What's Finn? Lorna's saltwater boyfriend. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, Finn. 
Finn's a saltwater merman, and I'm a freshwater lake. Like me and Gil. He was helping you figure out how to talk to your freshwater parents. Yeah, I've been trying to find a way to tell my father. I'm sorry to have stolen Gil away for so long. Psh, hardly noticed. So, what are you doing down here? I, um, wanted to give you... This to remember me by. Oh, Finn, if Gil and Laguna can make it work, I just know that we can too. Let's leave these two alone. Oh, Gil, I wish you could see how beautiful it is here at Don Quixote High. It's all so educational. Oh, I knew you'd love it in Madrid. Yeah, but I sure do miss you. I miss you too, Laguna. But hey, at least I still have this shell to remember you by. We get to make freaky flowery dresses for the gloom and bloom dance. Très monstrifique. I love the dress, but I feel like it would look better if my hair wasn't so monstrous. If anyone needs to change something about themselves, it is me. Look at how very long my tail is. My ears? They are so not pointy enough. I wish my complexion were greener. Look at me. No beauty marks. Perfectly symmetrical face. I'm too beautiful. Silencio! <gasps> Mari's soul! You scared us! You just wait and see how scary I can get if I hear any more negativity from you, chicas! Haven't you ever wanted to change something about yourself? See, back in Monster Pichu, I used to be ashamed of the size of my feet. I could not stand the sight of my feet, and I didn't want anyone to look at them, especially Sam Squatch. Back in those days, I would do almost anything to hide them from the other Bigfoots. I was in a foot fright mirror until one night when I found the perfect solution to my problem. The Tootsinator! Guaranteed to make your feet three sizes bigger! You were embarrassed because you thought your feet were too... Small? What did you think I meant? I had the uh, smallest feet in the village. The Tootsinators cost me all the money I had saved up in my guinea piggy bank. <laughs> they arrived just in time for the Monster Pichu Jungle Jam. Everyone would be there, including Sam Squatch. I think they're working. Whoa! Are you okay? Bueno. Uh, would you like to dance? <gasps> yes! Yes! Yeah. Mm. Uh, si. Sure. I realized that if Sasquatch didn't care about the size of my feet, why should I? He liked me for being me. <laughs> it's silly to worry about a part of me that I can't change. So, from that moment on, I decided to love every part of myself for who I am. <laughs> ah, something to think about next time you look in the mirror. Hey! Thanks for the talk yesterday, Mari. I guess sometimes it takes a wise ghoul to remind us that Monster High is all about loving your freaky flaws. Well, for most of us anyway. Oh, haven't you heard? Big feet are so in this season. Good said we could have the gloom and bloom dance in the garden. I didn't realize that meant we had to work in the garden. Come on, Cleo. It's not so bad. Look around at how happy the plants are making everyone. Ah, uh, careful, Lorna. That's the rarest plant in the whole garden, the corpse flower. It only blooms once every 1,300 years. And tonight, we'll all get to see it at the Gloom and Bloom dance. Oh, I just wish Laguna were here to see it with me. That's right. She's still in Madrid. Oh, Gil, I know how you feel. I miss my boyfriend back in Rawland. Oh, speak of the devil. I... I, I have to go. Lorna! It's from Lorna's boyfriend. <gasps> He's breaking up with her. How oh, could Lorna. he know? What do we do? This is no time for a ghoul to sit home and mope. 
The dance must go on. We're gonna make sure that Lorna has a great time tonight. <laughs> Operation Help Out Our Bestie McNessie is a go. Hey, Lorna, what you need right now is some serious time with your ghoul friends. Um, and your gill friend. I'm not coming out. Quel disaster! <laughs> Lorna, we're here with the Skultimate Ghoul Friend Emergency Heartbreak Kit. With revitalizing makeup, four years of Monster Beat magazines, and the biggest ice cream sundae we could find on short notice. No, thank you. We're gonna miss the corpse flower blossom. Um, can I try something? Lorna, can I talk to you for a second? <gasps> Tonight's the night of the Gloom and Bloom dance, and I figured you could let me take you to the dance. You know, as, as friends. You're so sweet, Gil. Lagoon is a lucky ghoul. I, I'll go to the dance with you as friends. But I don't have anything to wear. Enough. Out of the way, Gil. We've got to work to do. And here's a little move I like to call the sea slug slide. <laughs> oh, Gil. Thank you for convincing me to come out tonight. It helps to be here with my friends. And we finally get to see the corpse flower bloom tonight. Oh, yawn! Let me tell you, I've seen one, and trust me, corpse flowers stink. Oh, don't be such a bloom kill, Cleo. Corpse flowers are supposed to be the most beautiful in the world. I just hate that Laguna won't be here to... Kill? <gasps> What's going on here? Guess who's back from Shibuya? Gil, how could you? Laguna, I promise it's not what it looks like. Um, it looks like Gil took Lorna McNessy to the Gloom and Bloom dance. Okay, so it is what it looks like. Oh, um, L Laguna, I, I can explain. Don't. I came all the way back from Madrid early so that I could surprise you at the dance. And I come in to find you dancing with another ghoul? I have to go. <laughs> Laguna! The corpse flower, it's starting to bloom after 1,300 years! Let's hope it's nothing like the last corpse flower I saw. That flower reeked. Um, uh, Laguna, I, uh, I only took Lorna to the dance as a, as a friend friend. Her boyfriend broke up with her and, well, she needed somebody to frighten up her day, you know? <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'm sorry I caused a scene. I just... I had this picture in my head of what tonight would be like. Surprising you, running into your arms. We'd watch the corpse flower finally blossom. <gasps> oh, my ghoul! The corpse flower! Gil, we're missing it! I'd rather be right here with you. Oh, Gil... Come on! Here it comes! There's something inside! Oh! oh! Something... or... someone! <laughs> it's... it's a ghoul! <gasps> That's not just any ghoul. Welcome to Monster High! You're the guest of honor. That's a Manita Nightshade. A party for me? You shouldn't have. Well, I suppose you should have, actually. I'm kind of a big deal. Cleo Denial. Long time, no see. You know each other? Let's just say Cleo and I go way back. We were two mates ages ago, literally. It's a long story. Poor Cleo. Still a wallflower, I see. No date to the dance. Actually, this is my boyfriend, Deuce. Hello, Snake Eyes. Uh, hello? Cleo, you won't mind if I borrow him for a dance. You always were so good about sharing your things. Uh, Cleo, I don't know what to do. May I have this dance, and every dance from now on? Of course. <laughs> Happy gloom and bloom, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cleo.
scenario, truth or scare? Hmm. How about scare? Hello, Claire. Oh! Not expecting that much scare. What's she doing here? I invited Amanita because I know how hard it is to be the new ghoul at school. Been a while. How do you two know each other? We have history. Dracula, Lara, your outfits are to die for. Let me borrow some of these. You'll be lucky if you ever see them again. Oh, you could be a model. Thanks. I already am, actually. Here, I always carry a few shots from my portfolio around for fans. That's my purse! Amanita, we were just playing truth or scare. Oh, I pick truth. How do you and Cleo know each other? Oh, we go way back, don't we, Cleo? Because I only bloom once every 1,300 years, I'm a pretty big deal. Your queen has arrived! <laughs> Hi, you call up Bowen? Put your backs into it. You worshippers are so lucky. You have the privilege of enjoying my loveliness all day long. It's not fair, but there isn't a single reflective surface to gaze upon myself. And the villagers realized I was much too rare and special to keep for themselves. So I was gifted to the Denial family. My family became trapped in our own tomb. I admit it got pretty boring till Amanita sprouted up. I love that outfit. You have to let me borrow it. And she did borrow it, along with everything else. Mm, and I'm gonna borrow this, and take this, and ooh, borrow some of your hair things. A ghoul needs her beauty sleep. But that wasn't even the worst part. I'm all tuned out. Let's see if I can root out an escape plan. Amanita, you found a way out. Get help. I'll go for help. Hey, I'm gonna borrow this. That was nice of Amanita to go for help. Except that she didn't come back. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> well, I believe that monsters can change. Cleo, truth or scare? Big scare. <sighs> scare. I scare you to get along with Amanita. Uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! And how about you, Amanita? Uh, Amanita? <gasps> My clothes! Amanita took everything! Borrowed. Yeah, she does that. Welcome, ghouls and monsters, to the greatest show on Earth! Prepare for magic, mimes and marionettes, dangers high and low. Now, meet your ringmaster, the newest ghoul at the freakiest school, Goliope Jellington! Welcome to Freak to Chic, a festival of freaky flaws. The night of Freak to Chic is still young, and everything is riding on this show. But first, let's do that thing where I back things up a bit. It all started two days ago, when we were first introduced to the school's grouchy accountant. Mr. Grunderson, what brings you up here from your little accounting hole? This wasteful school is running out of money. We must cut some programs. What do you suggest? The arts programs. Wasting time and money. No more painting. No more music. And especially... No more theater. The arts are just as important as learning dead languages and clockulous equations. I won't allow it. The Board of Education has already given me total authority to make any money-saving cuts I see fit. <laughs> Attention, students! Start boxing up your fate brushes and xylophones. As of this moment, the arts classes at Monster High are... Cancelled! We were about to discover Monster High's newest arrival. I don't care what that troll Mr. Grunderson says. I want to save those classes. What if there was some way we could save the art programs, like a fundraiser? Ew! What's this positive, flowery feeling I'm having inside? I think it means you agree with Frankie. I don't like it. Maybe there's something here that can help us. Creeperific! What's happening? Who's there? I'm 
sorry. That happens when I get nervous. <gasps> my name is Goliope Jellington. Hey! You found my trunk! Uh, just what I was looking for! You are a circus ghoul! <laughs> All my life. My family was famous for our traveling show, Freak Du Chic, a festival of freaky flaws. But now that I found my trunk, I can get back to doing what I love. The freak show must go on. I just had a voltageous idea. If we put on our own Freak Du Chic show, we could use the ticket sales to save Monster High's art classes. I could help. Right? Yes, I, I have a knack for making costumes, sets, all the stuff you ghouls will need to put on a freaky, fabulous fundraiser. Of work to do. Ugh, Grundison. I can't believe that accounting troll managed to cut all the arts at Monster High. Yeah, you're telling me. Now I'll never get to show off my stilt skills. Wow! What an entrance! The name's Goliope Jellington, and I'm your freak to chic ringmaster. You want to save the arts here at Monster High? Well, mark your calendars right now, boys and ghouls, because next week we're going to put on the greatest show on Earth. Don't forget, freak to chic. Get your chic on. Maybe we can help. We've got talents. I've got my stilts. Oh, I've got something in mind. Some kind of show, circus, I don't know. Those ghouls are trying to save the arts program with it, and they are going over my head. This is an unauthorized performance on school property. So what do you want the Board of Education to do about it? I want you to shut this down. Stop right this minute! These ghouls are going to great lengths to raise money to save the arts. You must let them perform. But they are breaking the rules. We'll allow your ghouls to proceed, but they only have until midnight tonight. If they cannot raise the funds, the matter will be closed. <laughs> We're gonna perform next week. We're not ready to put on a show tonight. Hey, speak for yourself, Frankie. This V-Line is ready to shine. It's the best I could do, Frankie. The Board of Education was quite final about this. They banged the gavel and everything. Y'all know what they say. The show must go on. I have the utmost confidence in you ghouls. Why don't you show me what you've got? This is going to be clawsome. They've just finished a crash course in circus skills. Freak de chic. Impressive. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? I'm not done yet. Sorry, Frankie. I'm still getting the hang of my marionettes. Honey, look out! Hey! Who put that box there? <laughs> Crash course, huh? We want to learn. Teach us too, Goliope. The more the merrier, I guess. There we were, with only an hour left before our big freak to chic circus spooktacular. We had tried to use our freaky flaws to fundraise to save the arts at Monster High, but it looked like we had failed. So that's it then? You're just gonna give up on the show? Yeah, pretty much. Believe me, Goliope, I thought this was gonna be the greatest show of our unlives. But at midnight tonight, the cuts become permanent. You don't wanna live in a world without art. I've been there. When I lost my circus trunk, I couldn't perform. The world was gray. Nothing made sense. Have you stopped to think about what Monster High will be like without the arts? We have to keep trying. Yeah, yeah. she's right. You almost had it before. The problem is you were all so busy thinking about your own tricks that you forgot that a show takes teamwork. You were so worried about the spotlight, you weren't paying attention to what your other ghoul friends were doing. I understand. This is not just about any one trick. This is about all of us. This is art. This is Freak Du Chic!
These ghouls are giving you a chance to save the arts at Monster High. Every donation you make using your eye coffin brings us one step closer to our goal. We have until midnight to save the arts. So take it away, ghouls! We've seen enough. <laughs> but Mr. Grunderson, we still have five more minutes. You'll never make it in time. These cuts are for your own good. What is happening? It's Goliope. This happens when she gets nervous or mad. Oh, no! Oh, oh. Oh, my. My. Oh, oh, no! no. They, they are laughing at me. They love you. Who knew you were such an artiste? Me, an artist. <laughs> they like me. No one has ever liked me before. We did it! We did it! Good show, Goose. This isn't just a show, Headmistress. This is art. This is Freak de Sheep. At Monster High, I've learned that a lot of monsters are out there searching for something. But sometimes, when they go looking for it, they find something even better. Welcome to Costa Shrika, home to freaky jungles, exotic animals, and Batsy Claro. Not in my jungle. Athletic, fearless, and fiercely protective of her jungle, Batsy is always ready to protect her Costa Shrikan home. Not only does Batsy have supersonic hearing, her batty echolocation allows her to throw her voice. Somebody's digging up a ghost orchid. Those are endangered. The ghost orchid, an extremely rare and endangered jungle flower. And Batsy just missed the book. What is this plant's final destination? It's going to uh, Monster High. A troll village in Goreway. Meet Stomp, Grunt, and Clobber. Who's up for some troll games? I want to play. And their sister, Kirsty. Kirsty is what you'd call an indoor ghoul. Troll a bull. <laughs> ah, ho, 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 ho. I want a rematch. Sure, Kirsty. Mmm, dead fast! The video game! You think you can beat us at video games? And I win! How did you? And I win again! Check me out! Number one in the whole world! Your troll ham of 530? Nobody has ever beat your score! I know! <laughs> Want to play again? What? Who is beating me? Miss Deadfast. Looks like I'm going to Monster High to take back my title. Easy Dawn Dancer. She lives in Boo, Hexaco. Easy loves performing the old dance of her people. Easy's family has the power to have visions. Hey, uh, come back. I had a vision. There was a place called Monster High. You must go to this place, E.C. No, I can't leave the family. Following your vision is the only way to find what it means. You must go to this monster high. But first, one more family dance. Three ghouls searching for something. A rare plant, a daunting challenge, and a mysterious meaning. Will they find what they're looking for at Monster High? Or will they find something even better?
This is the story of how three new ghouls joined the Monster High Exchange program. Batsy is searching for an endangered flower that was taken from her home in Costa Rica. Avid gamer Kirstie is on a mission to find the ghoul that beat her high score. And a vision brought Easy to Monster High, and she's here to find out why. The ghoul store kid! All right, you pesky plant poacher! I'm taking that ghost orchid back to Costa Rica! We can do this the easy way! Uh, 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 or that way? Miss Deadfast, I presume. Uh, the name's Kirsty, but you probably know me as Trollhammer530. You beat my high score, and I'm calling you out. One more game? I win! Why did you bring me to this place? Beautiful, isn't it? And it's coming back home with me! Do you even have any idea how many ghost orchids are left in the world? 37. Okay, didn't see that coming. I'm working on a new plant food that should triple the ghost orchid's pollination so it doesn't go extinct. That ghost orchid is staying here at Monster High! And so am I! <laughs> Rock and troll! You're so good! Wanna play something else? <sighs> now tell me, why am I here? <gasps> they're dancing! Ooh, they're trying to dance. You're doing it wrong and messing up my routine! Ugh! This new dance is not working! I can show you a dance. Where did you learn to move like that? From my family. My name is E.C. Dawn Dancer, and I just figured out why I'm here. Three very different ghouls. They not only found what they were looking for, but they each found something they didn't know they wanted. Batsy was looking for a plant, but instead she found an ally. Kirsty thought she came to defend her title, but what she really found was a friend. And Easy's vision guided her away from her family in order to pass along a special part of her culture to others. Uh, did you just see, uh... Nah, couldn't be. What in the name of all that is dead and moldy? This is decomposition class, not some ice cream social in which to party down. You have no idea how lucky you are to go to a school like Monster High. But we do appreciate our school. We were... Enough! As punishment, you are all to fried essays explaining why you think you belong at Monster High. And remember, I don't give A's. Well, I guess we'd better get Friday. I think I've got a better idea. Why I Belong at Monster High, a voltageous video essay by Mr. Rodder's decomposition class. Photobomb! Why do I belong at Monster High? Well, when I was the new ghoul at school, everyone made me feel like I belonged. And before long, I had more best friends than I could shake an arm at. Oh, Frankie! Oh, Frankie. I'm Batik Laru from Costa Rica. I belong at Monster High because I'm surrounded by students who care about making the world a better place. I'm Easy. I belong here because everyone accepts me and the way that I express myself. Hola! Soy Mari Coxie. I was thought that there is only one type of beauty, big feet. But Monster High showed me that there are so many biggy, fabulous types of beauty. <laughs> Back in Rotland, I got a hard time from my family for my love of being on cameras. 
But here, I'm allowed to be myself. I belong at Monster High because no matter what, you always feel welcomed, even if you've been a teensy bit mean. Gory. Okay, a lot of bit mean. Sheesh. I'm Trollhammer 530. Oh, <laughs> I mean Kirsty. I used to be homeschooled with my three brothers. They were bigger than me and made it so that nobody really noticed me or my talents. I belong at Monster High because here I do get noticed. I win! I'm Harper, and I like to collect, um, shiny things. I, oh, I was so sure that everybody was going to laugh at me. I belong at Monster High because they didn't. Ryder here. I belong at Monster High because they get me. If I set my mind to it, I can do anything. Why do we belong at Monster High? Because every monster is welcome. Freaky, Freaky Paws and all. A's. A's for everyone. Yay, everyone! <laughs> oh, 